glory to God and hallelujah. It's yet another week of learning and uh, this week we are learning about worship because there has been misconceptions about worship and we need to correct things because if we do not know how to worship or what worship entails, we might miss out on how God requires worship from us. And so this week, I want us to look at this topic of worship. It will be a series of a whole week where we will be discussing about worship. And I believe by the time we'll be finishing with this uh, with this series, we will have changed our perspective about our worship to God. And so uh, right now, I want us to look at the word of God from the book of John 4, John 4 verse 24. The Bible says, it is when Jesus went and found a woman at the well. The Samaritan woman was fetching water at the noonday. And we see him having a conversation with this woman, telling her about her things, her personal issues. She didn't know how he came to know about that. But she started to have a, 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 a close fellowship with her telling her this is this is who you are this is what you're doing uh, the, the, the 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 man you have in your house is not your husband and she she starts uh, she gets astonished she doesn't know why Jesus is telling her all these things but she comes to a conclusion that he is the prophesied messiah because she was in a moment of fellowship now before we enter into details about worship i want you to remember one thing that it is only in this meeting that Jesus was having with this woman. This is the only place he had one audience. Look at this. This is the only place that he was speaking only to that woman. This is the only place he spent a, 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 a little bit of his time communing with this woman because when we come to worship, worship is a personal thing. And the, he, he tells her that uh, the, the woman starts to tell her that we, 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 we are used to worship in the mountains of Jacob. That is where our forefathers used to worship. That is what we have been brought up knowing. And we know that Jews worship in Jerusalem. That is their culture. And Jesus starts to explain to her about what worship entails. And he says that at the, there will come a time when the true worshippers will worship in truth and in spirit because such are the ones that, that the father is looking for look at this when we are going to seek the face of god through prayers reading the word of god praying we are in a uh, in a moment of seeking god but in this scripture it messes up with our whole thinking because it says that he is searching now it is him that is looking for a worshiper it is time for him to look at that person that can worship in truth and in spirit and my heart has been having this question that if jesus comes to look at a worshiper can he find me to be one of the worshiper that he's looking for and so today is an introduction. We want to learn what is worship. We want to learn how we should worship. We want to learn what worship entails. We want to learn what God expects us in worship. And we will be learning these things by the help of the Holy Spirit, knowing that that worship is expressing our love to God. It is a, a, a sign of reverence. It is an act of adoration. It is an act of showing affection to a deity or to our God. So I want us to look uh, at this. Uh, we will be looking at this scripture that is in John 4 verse 24 to 26. And I believe that we will be blessed. And I believe that our 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 perspective about, about worship is going to change because God is still searching for a worshiper. And I pray that as he is searching for a worshiper, he will find you ready. He will find you prepared. He will find your heart connected to the Father because worship is a, a nut of intimacy between us with God. So I believe that we will be blessed even as we go through this journey. And I, 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 I pray that you may give us your feedback and I know that you are going to be blessed. And on behalf of Pastor Lucy Painter, this is Anita Flo. And I believe that this will be a week of learning in the name of Jesus. So continue to follow us and I believe that our worship life is going to change. The Lord bless you and do you good. Amen.